Hey, what's up you guys? This is Empty. This is a tutorial on how to uh, toggle installations between the PTU and EPTU. Sometimes uh, Star Citizen will have uh, versions that you can play that are not live, um, whether if it's on the PTU servers or the EPTU servers. But here's the thing, who wants to install 300 gigabytes worth of versions of one game? So I'm gonna show you a really quick a trick that not only will save you time installing that specific version of the game that you want to play and toggle between different versions without having to not only sit there and install the game from scratch every single time and also have this game eat up so much space on your hard drive so um first thing you need to do is you need to locate rubber space industries on your computer now the thing is uh, by default whether if you install the rsi launcher or even just installing the live version of this game it's going to choose the c drive but for me i have it on the h drive which is um, my competitive game hard drive but as you uh but but as for the ones who are c drive um users of this game just go to c drive and go to program files and then locate robber space industries double click on that and then you'll all you'll all see star citizen there right next to rsl launcher but in my scenario i don't have that there so let's go back to my h drive let's see competitive games rubber space industry star citizen as you can see i have over 200 gigabytes all just allocated to two different versions of star citizen i have the live persistent universe which is 103 gigabytes and the eptu is 104 and this time period of may 7 2024 all players are playing the 320 323 patch version on the eptu universe not the ptu um, in a couple of days is going to end up being on the live soon but you might be watching this video in the future maybe 100 years later when i'm like dead and gone so i think that this tutorial will be universal across the board um, so you got to locate it and then what you got to do is let's say for example if you have enough space for two versions or if you only have one space for one version but you want to try the ptu or eptu whatever one that's functioning in your um, period of time what you can easily do is just rename it you could soft double click so click once and click the second one and you'll be able to now change it i would suggest you caps lock it but change the name to whatever version of interest you want to play which is live ptu or eptu so in this case in my my period for me to be able to play 323 i need eptu you just rename it and then let it be and then minimize that and go back to your rsi launcher and then under game environment just uh open up all the different versions and for me i'm choosing eptu but who knows you might want to play the ptu so i'm clicking the um, eptu right now it's not saying install game but um, i have to update mines but what you'll see is install game and here's the coolest thing is RSI launcher will not only verify the folder that's existing on that um, hard drive, but then also it will just replace the folders that it needs to be that specific version. So you don't have to install that version from scratch. And again, you know, a hundred gigabytes is a lot of space and hundreds of gigabytes for one game is a lot just for one game of interest i hope this tutorial is uh you know uh, a resource for you you will save time it will be a couple of minutes for it to run its course but it'll be less time in comparison to downloading and installing it from scratch over and over and over and over again and then you know just keep renaming it that folder and the robber space industry folder slash star citizen folder and just rename it to the version of interest that you want to play and you may only have enough space for 100 gigabytes and you want to play the ptu or eptu that's current in your um in your time zone or, or the era you live in 
just rename it and install it. And voila. I hope this was uh, informative. Have a wonderful day and stay safe out there in the Star Citizen Universe.